afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. Going to do a little quirky, kind of crazy wind test in the Tacoma today. Um, this is going to be my wind meter, and I'm going to hold it up like right about here. You know, not outside of the window, but next to the window. And we're going to put the windows down. We're going to put different windows up and stuff and whatever. And we're going to see how much wind we actually get inside the truck with uh, different configurations, if you will, um, of the windows up and down. So should be pretty cool. Right now we're going to have a red Tacoma, just like mine, stock, passing by right now. There it goes. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, let's, uh, let's move on. You can see right now that uh, it's not blowing at all, of course, because it's, uh, you know, just sitting here without any windows down. So I'm going to put down all of the windows, and it is a very windy day outside, so I suspect that you guys can see right now, uh, we're getting a decent amount of wind uh, because of the wind outside. So we're going to put everything down. here including the uh, rear we're gonna open that up and we've got uh, everything down right now Let's see if I can keep my hat on and you guys can see uh, the papers blowing around uh, right now assuming you can still hear me with uh, with the windows down just sitting here so we're gonna take off we're gonna drive a little Woo. it's very windy outside very windy. Let's get uh, somewhere where we can get a little bit of speed going here. Maybe turn out of the wind. I think we'll be going into the wind now. Actually, no, it's blowing across this way. So we'll hold this up. You guys can get an idea of what it's doing. This is just uh, 30 some miles an hour. Just the windows down, so let's see uh, what it's doing a little bit. Now, in a minute, once we get to the stop side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the back window, and we'll see if uh, if we get any less wind that way. It may not be a fair test today because it is so windy outside. But, yeah, why not? wind is going to be hitting us from uh, behind this time. So, let's get going here. This will be a 55 mile an hour road. Here we go. Let's see what we get. 
get there. Not too bad. A little bit, but it's not it's not horrible. The trouble is, if you had that down, then you're going to have stuff blowing in the back, of course. And we're doing about a little over 50 miles an hour right now. But again, it's uh, it's not too bad, not too bad at all. So. Let's go ahead and put that rear window up. And now we're going to have a big crosswind right now from the wind. It's blowing this way. Let's put the uh, rear window open. Alright, we have the rear window open. And we are getting a, uh, a decent amount of wind in here now. Of course, we do have a crosswind, as I mentioned, uh, blowing from the driver's side across so we're gonna hit uh, we're gonna hit a lot of wind inside really just from that so not too bad right we're gonna go up here and turn around so we can get back into some 55 mile an hour wind and see what we get out of that okay we did a quick turnaround and now I just have the uh, the rear slider open here's my wind gauge guys can see it uh, it's really not doing anything so we're not getting much flow in here from uh, just having that rear window open let's put down both rear windows you guys can hear it I can feel it coming from around the seat on my shoulders but you can see in the middle of the truck here not really getting a ton of wind just a little bit of a breeze uh, with some noise, obviously. So let's go ahead and put those up. Okay. Now we're still left with just the uh, rear window open, so I'm going to put the passenger side down now. Front passenger side. Let you guys see what uh, what we're going to get here. Uh, a bit of wind blowing towards that. Uh, just have the uh, passenger side window open here. You gotta get up to low speed. And we're uh, right around 50 miles an hour right now. You guys can see we get a little bit of wind, a lot of noise. Uh, but a little bit of wind, uh, surprisingly more wind than that, although it is a bigger window and it's in the front. Uh, then we get out of that rear slider open. show you just the driver's side open with uh, nothing else. Of course you can hear it's again quite a bit louder at about 55 miles an hour. Uh, obviously we're getting some wind uh, inside the truck. I imagine the people in the back would probably be hitting getting hit pretty well, but it's not too bad. Let's do one more, how about about halfway up. There you go, there's halfway up and that has considerably cut the, the big wind that's coming in. It is kind of like a little bolstering wind uh, against the, the paper that you guys can see there, but not really terrible. I don't feel it a lot. Um, right here in the middle, you can see I don't. It's not moving at all. Well, not too much. Maybe a little bit of air towards the uh, towards the driver's side window. But not not anything really horrible. Go ahead and put that up now, so you guys can actually hear me a little bit better. I hope. Uh, so what does that tell us? Well, 
it's quite windy inside the Tacoma, especially on a windy day. Um, the best bet, if you want a little bit of air in here, I guess, without uh, putting everything down, is just the rear window. Um, you really don't get much at all, if anything, out of that. Um, probably because it's well protected in the back. Obviously, you have the back of the truck and the truck buffering um, anything that's there behind it. So, really not too bad. Um, anyway, I just wanted to get on here and make kind of a crazy little video. I know it's a little quirky, a little weird, uh, but I'm always concerned when I get uh, a new vehicle, you know, how windy is it going to be? You know, because I like to drive around with the windows open when I can, but I don't want to get you know, the crap beat out of me by, you know, the wind bolstering uh, when the windows are open. And as you guys, I'm sure, probably know, some vehicles, of course, are worse than others. You know, the uh, depending upon how aerodynamic they are, of course. Um, I actually, I've had a few sports cars, and a lot of those, they are so aerodynamic that you can put the windows down and you hardly get anything. It's really amazing the difference between let's say a truck and a, a Corvette or a Porsche Boxster or Cayman or something really is a huge difference anyway appreciate you guys watching uh, please give this video a big thumbs up click that subscribe button if you haven't before and we'll see you next time on the web have a good day bye